phía sau I think I see them. They're on the. They're all the way up there. Ghosts. Yeah, they still might have a chance. Let's get down there. <laughs> the whole time we were coming down the hill, like we'd stop for. 10 seconds and then we'd hear a bugle, we know we need have to wait, so now we gotta go get water. Yeah, we hike back up the mountain and it don't work. What morning is it? I don't know. A lot. How many mornings we've been here, Ben? Five or six. Five. Morning of day five. Couldn't find the other two last night, so we gotta go up there and find them this morning. But that's not really a good, uh, depiction of what we're gonna go up. Ben heard an elk down in here last night at some point, but we haven't heard anything this morning, so that's all right. Maybe they're hearing something up there. It's a good weather day again. It's cold again last night, probably the coldest night it felt like, so they should be screaming somewhere. We bombed down through there last night and then bombed back up, so we might have to get over to the next side of the mountain and get into some fresher dirt. But I think this might be my last day, depending on if we get one or not. <laughs> so. I don't know, it's been pretty awesome so far. We've been in elk seriously every day since we've been here, like in some pretty big ones. So it was a lot better than I hoped it would be even. So I'm pretty happy, but I'll try to get Finish one down strong. today. Yeah. Finish strong. Yeah. and less and then eventually it was just like in one spot. I haven't heard him in a while, but we assume he's still there. We're gonna go up that finger. See that finger of trees to the right of the rock. We're gonna go in there. So we're basically gonna try to drop around here, get in this timber, hit that little strip, get to the top of that rock slide, and then cut in on him. I think he's right around that big rock. In the middle of the ridge there. Cut in right in there. How we're gonna play it is Jake and I are gonna go up front and we're gonna start when we get into position. We're gonna cow call. We're gonna give it 15, 20 minutes. See what he does. The wind should just be pulling up the whole time, so we should be good. If he starts to progressively get more ramped up, the three of you guys are gonna be back. Your job is gonna be to rake, your job is gonna be to bugle, and your job is to film the entire thing go down. You hit a keel. I mean, we're just gonna try to be patient with it. It is only, for having not done anything, it's pretty late, it's 10 o'clock. We're, hey, we're at least back together, right? We're bringing us back together. We're gonna, we're gonna get in here and knock these punks around a little bit. I'll stay hard. <laughs> All right, while well, we slipped up here, I think we're maybe at the same elevation or hopefully just above where this pulls out. Within 200 yards, give or take. I'm hoping he's over this lip, but he might not be, so we're just kind of playing it cool here for a little bit, hoping, hoping that he'll bugle on his own. If he does and he's right here, we're in a good spot to maybe call him in. And if he's up over that lip here of the hill, we're probably going to move a little closer before we try to call at him. We're on a bunch of elk trails now, so we can slip in there real quiet, and our wind's been really good, just pulling up. It's sunny back here.
but as we're going to them, see if we get fired out. It'd be nice if he keeps letting snores out, maybe track them. Yeah. Yeah.
past where he's at yeah where he was at still sharp scary sharp unscrewed a little bit when i went through based off everything that we saw and heard after the shot we're all feeling pretty good we're obviously gonna approach it with caution just like we always do but we're all pretty sure we heard him dying right down there below us like we heard him crashing around a bunch and a bunch of groans and stuff like that. And I got to see it three yards. <laughs> the entry looks great. I saw the exit when he was running away and he was a little little bit quarter to me, but I was able to tuck it so close that I'm not too worried about it either. So I think we just go right here to where he dropped in. Yeah.
steers before and that's pretty comparable <laughs> that's crazy all right let's get him out here nice job everybody. thank you guys so much that's a good job in this country <laughs> oh, thanks me did it thank you Smokes. I mean, how far did he go? Maybe 60? I got it pinned. I think he was dead up there about 30 yards. Yeah, he probably rolled. Who knows how far? Who wants to make a guess? 75 yards. Anybody else? Maybe, no, I guess actually Maybe less. 55. 52. 52. 52.4. <laughs> I mean, the most perfect shot you could ever ask for. I mean, talk about the vital V right there. <laughs> I knew I had to be close like tucked up as close as I could because he was he quartering was, too yeah I think that X is gonna be a couple inches further back at least but <sighs> you told me this morning that this was your last day and here we are <laughs> not gonna be anymore I'm gonna make it out of here <laughs> you know Roy also told me this morning that he was leaving with Jake he's oh. like I really wish we could I really want to pack one out today before I have to leave he said you don't have to leave <laughs> We'll just let you two do it then. <laughs> <laughs> right, good. If somebody wants to set up a tripod for a group picture, the better. This one will do it better. It's right next yeah. to you. We'll do it. That's a 12 point. <laughs> <laughs> this one's right here is just so sweet. <laughs> like you can just tell there's something different about it. What do you think of that framing? I think it's actually pretty <laughs> perfect. So something real cliche like, now this is when the work starts. So we're getting Jake's bull cut up here. We got it about halfway done. Jake and Zach are running knives down there. Me, Roy, and Ben are doing kind of everything else as far as like putting stuff in game bags, just keeping everything clean and organized. Me and Ben have a front quarter and a rear quarter, and we're going to hike them down to the bottom of this creek, maybe a mile. Get it down there, hung in a tree. That way it can get cool tonight. We can camp and then attack the total pack out all day tomorrow. It was lightweight, huh? I mean, originally, initially. <laughs> How's it feel? Pretty good. What are you supposed to say in this situation? Like, lightweight, baby. <laughs> you ready? Good. I think we'll hit this trail. Yeah, we'll just jump on the trail. <laughs> Take it to the Polaris. <laughs> See you guys at Llama Camp. Don't <laughs> <laughs> do my face. Hey, hey, good luck. He want help from somebody. Collins, your guy. <laughs> He'll at least have an opinion on it. I can't always say that he's going to be right, but he's going to have an opinion. God, I hate that about myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I feel the same way about myself. I'm open to any advice because I've never done this before. You're on know, the right track, it looks like. Think about how much lighter that is in the whole skull. Yeah. Oh, you're saving 15 pounds. Oh, at least. Looks like it's gonna be easy, Jacob. I wish you'd have shot one a little more narrow or just for yourself. I know. Guess we'll just figure out how we're getting out of here. I feel like the way we came up was pretty easy. So I'm almost thinking we cut and then cut down past the rocks. Either yeah. way, really. We're gonna pack them out tonight, right? The whole way. Yep, we're not stopping for dinner either. I'm tired and I'm hungry, so I'm ready to sleep but tomorrow I'm excited to pack it out. Go where, where there's no rocks. Yes, that'll be that way. All right, you lead it.
Find your way. Might be tough for Jake with that wide rack he's got. <laughs> yeah, Take see, your time. I told you I just had to get on the flats. <laughs> it, it's so much different because they have so much more experience. We feel better with the packs. We feel better with like doing the trips. I think we'll be all right. We just gotta take it slow. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I don't know. Tomorrow when I actually get a bunch of weight in my pack, you guys had me pack pretty light on the way down. I, I didn't feel too bad. I think we hit that trail, which isn't that far away, and we're gonna be all right. You got another thousand feet. You came down 800. Nah, but it won't be that bad. But no. it's a gradual thousand. There you go. Let's go find somewhere to sleep. Bad <laughs> boys. Ninety-nine. Good job. Thank you guys. Try to sleep better than. Yeah. Then last see night. when the real work starts. <laughs> <laughs> 14 miler tomorrow. All right, well, we just scurried up the hill a little bit from where all that meat's at. And uh, we're going to camp here, try to get up early, and uh, start the long pack out. I'm not sure. It took us, We I guess we left a little late coming in here, but it, we, we didn't get in here till about dark. So I think if we leave by a decent time tomorrow, we might make it back by dark tomorrow night. I don't know. We gotta see what all this weight on our back feels like and uh, how much ground we think we can cover. But I think it's gonna be one of those things early in the day, it'll feel like, okay, okay. And then as the day goes on, it's gonna just keep getting weirder and weirder. Like, oh man, I'm really tired. Oh man, I'm really hungry. If we get tired and hungry, we just take breaks. I will say that was the craziest experience I've ever been a part of. <laughs> <laughs> Heavens it's down, it was insane. Having a bull just in the human triangle. Oh yeah, <laughs> the death triangle. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty awesome. I mean, as far as like a calling to elk, it's been frustrating, but today it's just something clicked. We approached it a little bit different. We slow played it a lot more, and I feel like mm -hmm. that's something that we definitely learned from and we'll take that too. Yeah. Especially when you get them in a bedding area like that, like where they're there for the day. Mm -hmm. You can just kind of go start start easy with the cow calls and stuff like that and we built it up to about the peak really. Yeah, I <laughs> peak think, rut. <laughs> I think if we could go back and do some of those other ones again, it would be a lot slower. All right, we're about to start packing this thing out. We uh, ran up the mountain today, chasing after a bull and we ran into two other hunters. They got a group up in there that are going to be hunting, so for now we're just going to start walking and see how far we can get today. We're hoping to make it back, but I haven't put my pack on yet, so I don't know <laughs> if that's going to be possible for all of us or not. But here we go. It's feeling pretty heavy. Oh, it's going to be. This is about to be the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> the best and worst day. Oh! <laughs> oh, you hit him with it twice. That's crazy. <laughs> You gotta be a little, a little weird to do this type of stuff. Cool. It's gonna be a trip. <laughs> you can always put it a little farther back. Oh. <laughs> Sending down to the water. Here's a little funny if you do that. Just put it on here. Like literally takes all that weight off your head. So nice. It's a good breather. Oh wow. <laughs> a lot of food. <laughs> How do you feel after the first leg? I feel like I don't mind downhill. I think I'm going to struggle uphill. Feeling pretty good. Other than shoulder kind of cramping up a little bit, but I ain't going to die. <laughs> you are at some point. Jake threw out this restaurant idea and it's got me fired up. I don't know why that's keeping me going. So dinner's on me if we make it out. Well, I guess regardless if we make it out tonight or tomorrow, but it'd be nice to make it out tonight and take these guys out to dinner for all the help. Calling the bull in, packing them out. Even if not, we got a bunch of tender ones. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I mean, it really is the coolest looking thing, Jake. <laughs> Three arrows, middle one bloody, big old wide six bow on your back. What do you think about that? About what? What yeah. do you see? Jake, what do you see? What's <laughs> <laughs> 
Now I don't want to give up. I mean, I think we're going to be out soon enough anyway at this point, and like we got to go out regardless, right? Exactly, it doesn't matter. Would it be cool? Yeah. Is it going to be cool that we just did it ourselves? Yeah. Yeah. And those are the decisions that are made out here, Roy. Your meals, suckers. There you go, easy. <laughs> Mother after. <laughs> Dirty dog. Mm -hmm. one left. Uh, my feet are starting to get sore. That's about it. My like just all, the, just all the weight on my feet. Not used to it. Good news, boys. Other than that, we're about halfway. Halfway point. I'm hurting. <laughs> but I like it. It's, all, it's also not going to be like... Uh, I think I got packed just well enough that it's like my hips just... That only thing than this. I mean, it's just hey, you got weight on your back. You got a quarter. <laughs> so it's just like I ask these guys what they're, what they're thinking about as they're walking. <laughs> Every once like, in a while, it's just like you gotta just accept that you got a ton of weight on your back and get it out of here. It's just one, two, one, two. We call and I just start talking about deep. I mean, we were talking about some deep. We just stuff. got real deep. We just went. Last time I went fishing with my grandpa. So then we're gonna change it to more positive stuff now. <laughs> I have a cocktail. You guys got one later. Caffeine, on. ibuprofen, and what else is it? Multivitamin. <laughs> oh, dude, I need my multivitamin. Are you guys gonna thinking bark? we probably just are gonna make it right out of here? I think even. I'm hoping so because I don't have any food left. <laughs> I'm thinking even if it's midnight, I would like to just do yeah. it. Because I'll be honest. I'm dragged. The flat stuff, fine. I can't lift my one leg over a rock. <laughs> it's hilarious to walk with. You're just like dragging one leg the whole time. <laughs> hey son, you just keep hammering, dude. <laughs> Stay hard, boys. <laughs> Nobody cares, work harder. <laughs> hey, I want you all to know, you're four of the hardest as I know. <laughs> I think you're pretty hard for limping her out. Get yeah. that meat on your back. I'm just letting you know I'm not stopping because I hit my stride. All right, go ahead. All right. hey, rip it. Hey, we'll catch you in. We'll catch you in 20 minutes, maybe. Oh, you want to grab your headlamp long. out for you quick? What's that? Want to grab your headlamp out for you quick? <laughs> yeah, because I was just thinking how long I could walk in the dark. <laughs> well, I think we got six miles, six or seven miles left. It's getting kind of dark. We threw headlamps on. We slowed down to let Colin catch up, and he just blew right by us. He hit his stride, so he's <laughs> he's blowing ahead. Uh, everybody's in good spirits. It's just a mental game out here. Yeah, it's awesome. It's been fun. Beautiful day. Yeah, I can't ask for better pack out weather, really. <laughs> that was a pretty funny scene right there. <laughs> How is it? It's pretty good. <laughs> Almost there. Hey, we're actually yeah. doing great, buddy. I feel like we're supreme mule team. You go the blood, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much weight that's been riding like on the bottom of my spine. It's just like everything has a lot of pressure. <laughs> All right, it's nine o'clock, and uh, we're still up in the nosebleeds, but we're making progress. What does everybody think, like roughly three to four miles left? Yeah. We're gonna get water, I think, probably one last time, and hopefully hike for like two and a half more hours, is what Roy says, so we'll see if he's right. We're keeping Colin kind of boxed in, because in case a bear starts coming from behind tracking, you know, he sees a hobbler back there. Actually, Colin hit a second wind and just took off, so. I feel better on that last jaunt than I have in, since we got here. Did you take some multivitamins? There's a multivitamin. I think that's what it was. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel like I didn't know if that was possible. <laughs> 
Well, it is because we did it. Thank you for helping. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me, dude. Easy. Incredible experience. I'm having a tag on guys right now. Put your 14, 15 mile back up. Yeah. Dude, I had a blast. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Lightweight. Lightweight, baby. <laughs> Let's get this thing off you. Nice job, man. Ben, I'll do it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you'll get it Let's get a warm, let's get a warm dinner. Stop by. It's amazing what you can do if you just drink a bunch of wood. Breathe in. feel hungry to be honest I just feel I just feel completely whooped I knew we could do it <laughs> the fact that we did is just like so killer yeah, <laughs> I'm just so beat but it's so awesome 12:30. ready to go killer to go to, let's go to town <laughs> yeah let's, let's hit the steakhouse what's the, what's the guess miles time is that including the initial carry down last night nope from camp this morning. 13.72 and it took us like 14 hours. Okay, who's next? 14.4. What? I got 12.7. 14.75. Jeez. Yeah. Thir 13 hours and 49 minutes. So counting what we brought down yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Clean 15. Right? Well, I'm better than a half marathon. <laughs> A new notch on my belt because <laughs> it doesn't fit anymore and yeah, it's still not small enough. <laughs> Had to cut her in there. 569 yards was our pack out last night. Yeah, we cleared. Right about, we cleared right about 15. 15. <laughs> right about 15. That's a 15. Good deal. It's a 15, bro. Now what do we do? I'm gonna mm. eat. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. What's up guys? I just made it to Colorado. Me and Hayden have a couple of rifle elk tags here <laughs> and we are pumped up. It's Wednesday right now, season opens on Saturday so I got tonight and then I got two full days to scout. Just heard an elk sound off, not too far. <laughs> That's, that's my first bugle I've ever heard, Ted. It's good. It's awesome. Many more to come.